I'm Pastor Travis, and I just wanted to share a couple of things with you today. And uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was like the Old Testament. And the Old Testament kind of has a lot of directions, and a lot of those directions are known as the law. And, uh, and now Jesus brought revelation when he came uh, about the law, <clears throat> and that it wasn't about like rules, but it was really about the relationship between us and God the Father. And, uh, and that doesn't mean that the law is meaningless, it just means that the law points to how to grow in that relationship. So when we look at like Exodus 27, and it kind of states some of that law, like you should not take the name of your Lord God in vain, that is irre <clears throat> irreverent and false affirmations or in ways that impunge the character of God. For the Lord will not hold guilty less, nor leave unpunished the one who takes his name in vain, disregarding its reverence and power. And a lot of that, it just shows, uh, it's a buildup of the, the relationship. Because really what God is saying in all of that is that he wants, to, he wants to have relationship with us. And in that relationship, some of the way that we can get to know him is to start taking on some of those principles that he shares in the law. And, uh, and so when we change our actions, and when we change who we are um, to, to match what God has actually portrayed in that relationship, what we're doing is we're saying, we wanna come alongside you. We want to come alongside Jesus in that relationship. And so it's really important, especially with like this verse where it really talks about, um, you know, really it's talking about not making God be uh, our, our scapegoat, right? And there's a lot in all of that. But the reality is, is just not having a selfish behavior. We're not looking to, to blame God for our actions. You know, we're not going to take his name in vain that, that we're going to cast everything on him all of our faults as far as like what we're doing for our actions and uh and the reality is is that we start start to move as christians in our relationship and we start owning what what we have realizing that jesus paid the price giving that to jesus but not claiming that it is god that has dictated all that to us and so if we would start to do that in our lives it would transform everything that we have um, and if we would start to do that, we would start to make God's responses our responses. And that relationship would become more, more uh, deep within ourselves. And it wouldn't be about following the rules, it would be about coming alongside Jesus and taking on His character, taking on His values, and not being selfish in what we have. So that's just kind of the beginning of what I wanted to share with everyone here today. So thank you.